hey everyone i hope you all are doing great in your life and in your studies also so in this video we are going to review a book and i received this book from olibord it is data interpretation decoded from olibord and it is saying that it is a complete guide for di and data sufficiency for prelims and mains okay and it is covering each examinations so we are going to open this book and then we are going to see if it matches the level or not so here they have given the table of contents okay bar graphs so these are the charts like chart wise dis and then data analysis data comparison and data sufficiency and then there are means level di so first they have provided the types of dis then data analysis and then mi mixed means level dis okay and first is introduction to di and arithmetic concepts so first they have made you understand the concepts of di's like this okay and these things are needed to solve the di's first you need to know which type of di's are there okay and then they have provided the basic concepts like percentages used in solving di's then ratios averages so they have provided these basics and profit and loss so all the basics i think are given yeah partnership simple interest speed time and distance every every basic concept i can see is given and after that there is 2d and 3d formula are also given which are sometimes used in dis because sometimes maturation based dis are also there then section 1 basic charts they have provided like which which type of charts are there in the dis okay and they have given with examples like this type of chart then this type of chart is also there than this so they have covered many types of chart and when you will see new chart in your examination then you will come to understand the way to solve okay after reading the types of so many charts you will come to know the you will easily understand the way to solve the questions okay and now we will move to the questions so this is the data comparison chapter which we see in the mains examinations frequently quantity based questions okay and these type of questions are given and after that they were saying data sufficiency these are the mains level quantity one quantity two as in these years examinations also we saw these type of things in sbi po and ibps po means okay so they have given the same type of questions like this type also then there is data sufficiency given which is a headache for most of the students as it is very confusing but they have given that the basics two, st two statement type then three statement type and then they have given examples how to solve them and after that they are giving the questions first they are giving examples okay like this type of data sufficiency can also be there and then statements types okay so first they have made you understood the types and after that they are giving you questions to practice and then they are providing the detailed solutions also so these are the questions to practice yourself and after that the solutions are given and the solutions are also not in the basic format they are given in the way in which students solve the questions okay so i found this thing really good in this book and after that there are mains level questions given at at last these type of dis are given which are of mains level it is a di based on time speed and distance so first this pie chart is there and then this table so these are the types of dis which we often saw see in the mains examinations so i found the level of this book really good and if you want to start your preparation so for di specially you can start with this and uh, when you solve di's like arithmetic based di's your arithmetic concepts also improve so this book is really good to start your preparation for mains level quant specially okay and if you want to purchase this book i will give the link of amazon amazon and flipkart both in the description from there like in whatever website it is available you can go and purchase from that website Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you and have a nice day.